Hi YouTube, this is Vincent with Vasco Toys. I am here today posting my first ever YouTube video. Um, I'm going to be sharing some of my latest diorama projects with you all. I've been at um, diorama building now for a couple of months and I figured it's a good time for me to, to have a, a video series to kind of showcase some of the stuff I've been working on a bit more. So I'm here uh, to share those projects with everybody and uh, hopefully um, have many more videos to come. Before I get into my latest diorama project with everybody, I want to give some proper kudos to some of the um, resources that I've used during my education of diorama building. Um, you know, um, a couple of different accounts that come to mind would be number one, Al Figures, who's just amazing. I've learned so many different techniques and tips and tricks and just visual inspiration from watching his channel. And then another really great um, diorama builder that's inspired me uh, is Lawless Studios, um, who's, who's got, uh, I think he has a presence on Facebook and Instagram and probably, probably has a YouTube channel, I'm not sure. But um, I know uh, whenever I see his work on Facebook and Instagram, I always get extremely inspired. So just wanted to shout out some of those guys because they're doing excellent things and they're inspiring other people. A couple other things that I just wanted to mention too. Definitely belong to the Dial Structure Facebook group, which I think is awesome. It's a great place to learn, great place to get feedback. And I also um, am, am not really well versed yet in um, my toy photography skills, but I am um, a member of the ACBA Articulated Comic Book Art Facebook group as well, which is a really great place to see some amazing photography going on. So. If you guys don't know of those things and, and you're interested in finding out more, definitely check them out. So here we have two of my latest um, 112 scale uh, diorama projects and these are, these are some of my smaller builds. Um, this is the smallest build that I've ever done and um, I've done one other like this before but generally um, the figures that I personally collect are uh, Marvel Legends for the most part and then I also am a huge Dragon Ball Z fan so I have some SH figure arts uh, Dragon Ball Z figures and um, uh, so we've got here um, the Walgreens exclusive uh, Marvel Legends Punisher which is honestly one of my favorite figures ever I think it's awesome and he is kind of in a somewhat um, um, battle damage kind of war scene sort of uh, setting here and then um, very similar but just at a, a, a little bit of a bigger size you could fit maybe two or three uh, three is probably stretching it but um, definitely two figures on would be um, my daredevil uh, marvel legends here um, and he's also in basically the same concept of, you know, battle damaged tile flooring with some concrete wall that's been shot up probably with, uh, you know, there's some bullet holes in here and there's some, some cracking and some other things going on. So, um, you know, just did some uh, pretty, it's pretty simple stuff. Uh, just used um, the pink insulation foam that m many of the builders and the different, you know, diorama communities um, use, so nothing fancy there, and then um, just kind of carved things up with um, my, uh, my um, X-Acto knife, and then did you know, black wash on both of these, and had um, some dry brushing going on with just several different kinds of colors, um, which mostly were gray, gray, black, white, different shades, and then this one I, I mixed in a little bit of... Uh, aqua green kind of kind of feel here so um, all the paints that I use were acrylic 
and then these are both sealed with uh, matte finish um, Mod Podge. So um, pretty standard stuff, but um, something that I, you know, definitely have a lot of fun with, and think that um, anybody who is looking for probably more of a uh, of a display type of situation than a toy photography um, type of uh, diorama would be interested in these. If you've got uh, you know just kind of just tired of displaying your stuff on a shelf and you want to get a little bit more um, of a, a detailed kind of d uh, background for your figures, these are probably something that you would want to check out. Um, so with that said, I can kind of go a little bit more into some of the the details of these. Um, actually, wanted to mention too, um, I have, most of my dioramas are magnetized, so I've got um, just, you know, on this one, it's just one, just one magnet, but that's magnetized there. Um, and then on the Daredevil diorama here, this is also magnetized, and it's got two magnets there, so you can, you know, get that set up the way you like, and position your figures in the and the diorama. So, um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it with these two. But um, you know, I'm definitely um, looking to do more stuff that's uh, you know branching out, but um, from from this sort of build. But uh, definitely had a lot of fun with these. Thank you all for watching my first ever YouTube video. Um, I would like to invite everybody to um, go and follow the Vasco Toys um, channels on uh, social media, specifically Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Vasco Toys. Uh, put the um, I'll put the links in the um, in the description for those, um, and uh, of course encourage you to subscribe to the channel so you can see some of my other projects that are coming up. And just the final thing. Um, I, I am, you know, I do welcome commission projects, so if you have anything that you uh, have in mind that you want to uh, get commissioned, please just reach out to me, um, and I will be happy to work with you on those. So thanks again, guys. Uh, this is Vasco Toys, and I will talk to you later.